absolutely anything that can make noise has been harnessed. Gloria Scars, he leaves the Star Hut now. So much noise at the start. You're blowing my ears yeah, out already. Me too. <laughs> That's all right. We don't need to hear anyway. Gloria Scarzi, Enduro World Cup racer. She's been in the top five all season in that competition. Now having a bit of a busman's holiday on the dyno bike. Yeah, one seven. It's great there. Yeah. Let's see what the third one says. Yeah, this section's really coming around from earlier in the week. 4.3. Whoa! Gloria Scarzi on a run here in Snowshoe, West Virginia. Missy Jovi earlier in the week. The legend herself said this place is a strong girls course. And this woman, one of the strongest. This pedal, there's time to be made right saw, down here. Yeah, we bottom. saw that Ethan Craig from the UK in the men's semi-finals make up a load of time in that last split. So let's see where Scarzi stops the clock first. Fastest time by 5.2 seconds from Harasnik. But right. next out of the gate is yeah. a woman going for the slender hope of a UCI World Cup overall title, Nina Hoffman of the Santa Cruz Syndicate. She is quick there, oh, early on the pedals. Won in Andorra, in Andorra earlier on in the year. And has been in touch with Valley Hall for most of the season, but Hall just needs the points of a 10th place finish here to lock up that overall title. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this works out. If uh, she can get a win, if Valley's gonna go for the win, if she's gonna play it safe, I'd yeah. imagine she probably goes for the win. But things haven't really changed for Hoffman because although Valley's moved away from her, Marine Cabiru isn't far off that second spot yeah. behind her, and that's really where the big oh, two gap seconds is. Down the split number one. 2.1, so Hoffman giving herself the best chance possible here. That's why she had the mistake this morning on the upper part of the track. Yeah, that battle for second is definitely still on in the championship race. I'm sure there's a, a bit of a money difference and bonuses from second to third. Oh, 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 oh. 2.4 spin number two, but she almost lost the front. The 26 year old from Saffield. That section coming in, too, you gotta hug that tree. You literally miss it with your bar by like an inch, and there's a bunch of roots you gotta go over, and then you gotta thread the needle between these two big rocks. Like, this track really on camera doesn't show kind of how much is going on, but. It's absolutely ferocious yeah. down there. That was clean there for yeah. Nina Hoffman. Hoffman had that crash in the semi finals, so missed out on a point scoring opportunity. Yeah, she seemed to be riding good before the crash. Be cool to see if she can uh, kind of extend this gap potentially at the bottom. Oh, good. She set up that corner really good for a better exit speed. She's Re really established herself this season, though, as one of the big contenders, hasn't she? The German national title holder. 3.7 seconds yes. now at the first. She was split. looking good since the steep part, like let the bike work. Oh, oh little well. an edge here. That was close. Yeah, it was close to be off track. Right on the edge of the tire, right on the edge of grip. Nina Hoffman sets about this tricky. Third sector. Oh, oh nice. nice. Yeah, I love to see it. She's looking good. Yes, it's good there. She keep the bike work. That's important. Got to get it through this last turn. So awkward that little turn. We've seen races lost over the years in that one turn, and the wee right hander on the gas. On the gas. Worth pointing out as well. Still oh, yeah. riding with that injured knee. 4.1 now. 4.1 faster than Gloria Scarzi on the canyon. See if she can get this big jump here. Nice nope. Squash. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. She was doing the reverse, roll. yeah. Yeah, it's nice. She was doing the roller and double. Oh, you see that right there. She yeah. was, a, was a little bit off. You think off you're home there. free, and then you got yes. one last little muddy rut that kind of messes you up, all your momentum. Nina Hoffman giving herself the best chance possible. Goes nice. fastest by 6.2 seconds with a 341.3. Yeah, she's happy to... Good to get through this track, man. Valentina like... Hall's fastest <laughs> semi-final time was a 349.5 of the crash. Here we go then into our top three. Tani Seagrave for Canyon Collective. FMD leaves the start hut. Super aggressive into the first corner. Well, on the charge right away. That's yeah. what we want to see today. On, it's Tani. final day. Let's go. Tani Seagrave using the full berm here. It's a line in the inside. She preferred to use the berm. Following by the drone there, beautiful to see. We can realize the speed and the corner on those jump. Not so easy to manage, especially when you have a hot braking here, an off camber and a big compression. Seventh last time out in Leger, but she is fastest at the first split by two tenths of a second. Real close, I think. 
She in the green, oh no. No, oh, 1.4. 1.4. Visually it looked good. Yeah, deceptive. We didn't see one point, I guess, when she lost yeah. quite a bit of time. Yeah, Nina was strong through there. I mean, she was carrying good momentum. Flat eye over the big oh, triple. Oh yeah, gets the double. Double, excuse me, turns left. Heads on, onto the piece then. So Seagrave, we have seen lots of time made up in this final sector as innocuous as it looks off. The big road gap down towards the line. Tani Seagrave crosses the line in second place. Two and a half seconds off Nina Hoffman. So Nina Hoffman's bottom two splits here. Really strong, yes. Marine Cabaru of Scott Downhill Factory won the last one at home in Leger, the French national champion on the hunt for another win today. She has to fight hard today for the points. Cabaru has won here before, back in 2019. Where she was absolutely superb in that race, I remember it well. A little bit too much break here. Tracy Hanna took the overall title that day. Yeah, another rider come back from injury earlier in the year. Big crash, so cool to see her back and strong, up to speed. And that Leger result, that really was coming from a long way out, wasn't it? It was, uh, it was on the cards for a few rounds before it. Oh, she breaked a lot here to try that inside, oh, inside, inside nice. line. Yeah, yeah, that's that, well. that was a little bit slower before, but the exit speed was good. Yeah, we were. I was looking at that in track walk a few days ago. I was like, man, it'd be awesome to be able to squeeze this inside, but it was just too wet. You had to slow down too much. But one, one and a half back one and a half. Kabiru. Yeah, I saw Inigas doing it in practice. But yeah. she's uh, time back. Six tenths now, nine that, tenths. She's brought back. That's yeah. that line then. That, that line was quick, <laughs> the exit speed. Keep an eye on his mobile phone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Marie Cabiru jumping away through the rocks, down the wards. The big double drop section goes round the first one, nails the second one. Oh, that's a good line. I think that's, uh, that's a good line uh, to avoid the first big hit, big drop. Oh, really good here in breaking. Light looks really difficult in there now in that breaking zone. Yeah, she's getting in and out of these turns good. Not a lot of stall ups there at the end of the shoot. It's important on this track, some of these turns like this one coming up this right is so tight. You buried in there too deep, you kind of just hesitate coming out. You really got to keep that exit speed going. She have to keep that bike rolling now. She's in the grid! She's faster! Cabaret is faster by eight tenths of a second as the real meat of this track. Can't put hot pedal here when it's difficult to do, she did it though. Cabaret. In the office at work, what can she do at the bottom of the track here in Snowshoe, West Virginia? Big drop into the choppiest section off oh. the ball. Oh, she's going for it. Capo pedals here on the road. What yeah, line Nina through was, here? Yeah, Nina was strong down here at the bottom and on the pedals. This last split is gonna, she's gonna have to dig deep on this one. Patrice there, the team manager, almost enjoyed himself. 1.3 seconds faster, he should be enjoying himself. 1.3 for Marie de Cabiru. Cabiru going fast here in Snowshoe, West Virginia. Is it going to be fast enough to take the win? Oh, yeah. Does the big triple she did back in 19. Cabiru. This, this could do it. Oh, she can do it. Out into the open, out onto the piste. Off the big road gap. Clears the hole comfortably, down to the line. Marine Cabaru goes fastest in <laughs> Snowshoe, West Virginia, by three tenths of a second. And she lost a little bit of time at the yeah. bottom. Nina was so quick at the bottom. What a ride for Marine Cabaru. So here we go then, Valentina Hall, Rock Shocks Trek race team. Needs to finish here to score a point. I feel like if she goes for this win, this could potentially be one of those runs if she puts it together where she could put a big gap in. She's just so aggressive, so good if it comes together. It'll be interesting to see if she can, I mean, the challenge for her has just been keeping the bike on two wheels, but. Well, she's past the point she crashed earlier on in practice this morning. Well, she's carrying a yeah. lot of speed on those three could jumps. Be something special. Yeah. Well, back end, skipping around on only Valentina Hall. She just need the points for a top 10 finish here. She wants to win the UCI World Cup overall title, but she wants more than that. She wants to win the bike race. Oh, she's doing good there. That's a corner you were telling earlier. Yeah. Like that, yeah. The exits of that. 1.5 oh, seconds yeah. at the top split for Valentina Hall. Yeah, and I would guess if she puts it together, the best is still yet to come. A lot of people sitting on the seat. She's just pumping and jumping around. Yeah, you can One see the second. She's lost half a second, but it's still a second faster. 
than anyone else. Valentina Hall had that crash in the semi-finals run. We don't know what her true pace is here today. Let's see if she does the drop here. Yeah, inside line here. And the oh, drop. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe double, the only double. girl doing that. Try, yeah. yeah, that's fast. That's how confident that she is. Oh, oh, this is going to be a fast third split. Oh, she set up the corner like Daddy Hart did in practice. <laughs> Back in it in. There's a trainer, grass. Greg. Inscrutable. Valentina Hall, so composed. She wants to win this title and she wants to win it with a win. What is the third split going to tell us now? What to do it was class. Valentina Hall, four she, tenths, so yeah. she's lost some more time. I'm curious to see, I mean, <laughs> this is usually the point when that championship thought kind of starts to set into your mind. You're on a good run. You know you just need to get to the bottom. It's almost, you feel like the balloon is kind of letting air out for the first time all season. Like, oh man, I'm almost there. Just get it down. Hard to keep that intensity up when you're in this position. Top three at the minute, Cabrou, Hoffman, Seagrave. Is this woman about to join them and take the title? Valentina Hall, monsters through the rock section. I think she might be losing a little more time, yeah, actually. Yeah, this could be close. Yeah, it looked like she was a little bit under speed, but maybe not. We need to know soon now. With Hoffman, and she yeah. lost some time, 1.2. 1 1.2 back, but with Hoffman out of the hot seat, Valentina Hall just needs points. She can... Hoffman is out of the hot seat, which means she just needs to get the bike to the line. Big Valentina Hall. And she's early on the pedal. Valentina Hall powered her way towards the line. Is she going to round out this overall title with a win? Valentina Hall comes down to the finish line and goes third, but she will take the overall title. But it's Marine Cabarou who wins two on the bounce. Snowshoe West Virginia has a French winner in the elite women's downhill race. But that woman, Valentina Hall, the Austrian, will take the overall title. <laughs> she is. She is. I would expect result. you to be fully responsible as well. If you were, you know. Hoffman second, <laughs> Hall third, Tani Seagrave fourth, Scarzi on the podium in the top five. Superb result for her. Johnson, Rasnick, Vidman. Marine Cabiru goes two on the bounce. And does it in style and snowshoe. What a result for Cabiru. We did wonder at the start of the year if we'd see her back to her best. We got our answer. Here's confirmation then, Valentina Hall. Takes the UCI World Cup overall title from Hoffman. Look at the gap back to Cabarou though, absolutely nothing. Rasnick's in fourth, Balanche 